a short little video on when to take uh, mercenary camps and how to time them so that, that you get the most value out of them. Uh, I, seen, I see this a lot of times in Infernal Shrines with the Shaman camps where people will go to take them, cap them, and then just eat, or kill the kill the mercenaries and immediately cap the shrine and then just have them go run down the lane. You you know, don't necessarily want to do that because normally what happens is the enemy team will see that and then just go kill them. So they just die in lane and they don't get the maximum value. What you want to do is to try to time them so that they that you cap the shrine or cap the mercenary camp right before the objective spawns. So I created a a custom game with just um, me. I'm playing Sumuro and uh, Illidan as an elite AI. Now this is during the second uh, objective spawn. So the first one, the shaman camp. The mercenaries, they don't exist yet um, because they, they haven't spawned yet. So this usually happens from the second one on. So Illidan is right now taking, he's at the objective and he's about to get it. Uh, normally you want to time this right as the objective, uh, right before the objective spawns. So a trick in order to do that is to kill the mercenaries but don't cap the, the don't cap the camp yet. Stay close to the camp, um, being in the top lane or being in the mid lane, so that you can come back if someone decides to get uh, squirrely and, and try to get it from you. You don't want to. You don't want to kill the mercenaries and have it not capped when you have stealth heroes on the enemy team. Um, if the enemy team knows what they're doing, the stealth hero should be scouting out for camps that are taken but not capped. So you definitely want to be really careful if the enemy team has a stealth hero. In fact, I would not do that. Um, I would just try to time the camps um, correctly. So let's say that the second objective uh, is spawning, you've killed the mercenaries, and you cap it. This is what normally happens uh, in that scenario. So here I'm gonna kill the shaman. Change right down a little bit here. So Illidan has now gotten the Punisher. I'm going to cap the camp. Pretend this happened right before the obje objective spawns. So right before the objective spawns, the enemy team has one of two choices. One, they can send a person, or two, depending on what their comp looks like, to take care of the camp. The, the mercenaries and that leaves two people away from the objective which makes it easy easier for your team to cap the objective what happens in lower MMRs is they'll most likely ignore the camp and all focus on the objective so you'll all be battling over and over at the shrine. Meanwhile, the shaman camp, because he keeps regenerating the, the dogs, wolves, wh whatever they are, get insane value. You can see that I've their punisher is now at 18%, and look at the top fort. It is almost destroyed. And in fact, it will be destroyed... Uh, by the time that there it's killed in fact it, he'll he'll just keep pushing until he stopped so if if i had timed that correctly before the the altar had spawned I Illidan would have had uh two choices 
the enemy team would have had two choices. He he would either would have had to respond to the the camp or ignore the camp at his peril and focus on the objective. A lot of times, in fact, I I think I've seen maybe one percent of all the thousands of games that I've played. People don't understand about when I say kill the mercs, but don't pop the camp. Uh, even when I explain it in detail, like when the match starts, inevitably someone will come running up out of a lane to go cap the camp. Don't do that. If someone has killed the mercenaries and has walked away, or they're pinging retreat, listen to pings and d d and get away from the camp. They're they're trying to use a strategy to get maximum uh, potential value out of the mercenary camp instead of just having them die in lane. So I hope that explains a little bit about how to get maximum value out of uh, mercenaries. The shaman camp is a little bit special in that he keeps regenerating the, the dogs, wolves, whatever they are, hell, hell beasts. Uh, but the same thing would ha will, will happen with uh, the Knights Camp. Um, I'm not sure if the the siege mercenaries, uh, the giants that keep throwing the rocks, will be able to push a fort um, if left uncontested. Uh, I'm guessing they probably will. Uh, it would probably just take longer uh, to do. So please remember to try to time your mercenary camps so that they get you get maximum value out of them and just instead of just immediately capping them and just having them die in lane thanks for watching i'll see you later